That's right. So the prevalence of um, FMD in the general population is really unknown. Um, and it's hard to try to figure out how many people in all of the United States have FMD because it's a diagnosis that is made radiographically. Um, and it turns out we don't have a really good, safe, cost-effective imaging test to screen the entire population. So everyone, when they turn 50, should have a colonoscopy, and that's something we do for the general population. So we can get numbers for um, what is the prevalence or the percentage of people in the United States who have a colonic polyp, because everyone at the age of 50 should be screened. But with FMD, the diagnosis is harder because probably the most sensitive test other than a catheter angiogram is a CAT scan. And a CAT scan involves both dye exposure and radiation exposure. And so unless you have symptoms or you're getting a CAT scan for another reason, you may not get a diagnosis with a screening imaging modality. But the information we get for prevalence of um, renal FMD in particular comes to us, interestingly enough, um, for people who want to donate a kidney um, to either a family member or someone else who needs a kidney. And if you want to donate an organ, it turns out you have to be very healthy. Um, and for a kidney donation, you actually have to undergo an angiogram of some kind. And you either um, have a catheter-based angiogram. Back in the day, before CAT scanners, we used to do that. Um, but nowadays, mm -hmm. CT scans. And if you look at the people who wish to donate a kidney and who undergo these re um, radiology tests, um, anywhere from 3 to 6% of those people will have FMD, which is incidentally found. And so is FMD a rare disease? We're not sure, but it's probably a lot more common than we think.